Bless the name of Jesus, brothers and sisters. This is a day that the Lord has made and we all will rejoice and be glad in it. I am off. Um, I should be on my way to a funeral service, a sister of mine, but I have to get this video out there. First, I just want to say that we are going to continue our Bible study tonight. Yes, tonight, Wednesday night at 8 o'clock Jamaica time. We have a group that is, you know, really having a good time in our Bible study. Tonight we'll be moving from Revelation 8, heading into Revelation 9. And it's getting more and more intense. It's getting very interesting. And, you know, as I said, we have a core, a group that we are really enjoying studying the word of the Lord together. And I'm going to put the link up that those who are interested can always be free to join us. Eight o'clock tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. Another Bible study. Uh, the topic for this video speaks volume. It speaks for itself. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, the world needs to know this. This is very serious. That the elites, they have their ten commandments for their time. This is nothing that we can dismiss. This is nothing that we can deny. It's written in stone. In the Georgia Guidestone. Bless the name of Jesus. These stones are there. If my memory serves me right. These stones were erected. They were built with many different languages. For the world to know the agenda for now. Bless the name of Jesus. From 1980, bless the name of Jesus, a strange gentleman came in the era and he spent millions of dollars to get these tones prepared for the time of the Antichrist, for the time of the beast. And just as all in God, Ten Commandments is written to govern the people of God. Here it is where the Antichrist is now executing his Ten Commandments. Yes, they have been written for years. They have been dear since 1980. But now it's time because the elites know that the time would come when his time, his season would be given, it's written in the word that the Lord will give the Antichrist three and a half years, 40 and two months to rule over the earth. Bless the name of Jesus. And it is happening. I really need to stress on this. I was watching a video um, about three days ago on the Georgia Guidestone, you know, while I was, you know, getting prepared for this video. And a biker, I didn't know that there was something that set up on the site. That if you look through that instrument on the stones, he says that you will see where the stones ref reflect in blue. The stone, there's a reflection. Once you look through that instrument, uh, there's a blue reflection on the stone. And right away, I remember the video I did with the color blue. Bless the name of Jesus. The enemy is a copycat. My brothers and sisters, why we are seeing what is happening at this time all over the world is because, as I said in many videos, we are in the time of the beast. And I want to focus today on the commandment, out of all the commandments that is there on the Georgia Guidestones, let us look at zooming at maintaining humanity, maintaining the population under 500 million. My brothers and sisters, this is the one that really catch my eye. Maintaining the world's population under 500 million. Now, to maintain something, you cannot maintain something unless you get it where you need it to be. 
And so if you're on the highway, you know, as parent with your child, and okay, son, you, you I guess you're at 80, 80 miles per hour. I, I would love if you maintain it there. You don't go no faster. You're not going to drive this car no faster with me. Maintain it at 80. 80 is good. You, you cannot maintain something unless you get it to where you want it to be. Oh, God Almighty. Let me make that clear. And so let us think for a while. The world's population number at this time is close to 8 billion of us. And my brothers and sisters, as a watchman, I want to get this clear that we are living in the time of the beast. How do we know? Just a few months ago, they placed the image that you can see that 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 beast that they placed before the UN headquarters in New York. It's not just for a show. They are sending us who are watching a message. They know that it's their time. Bless the name of Jesus. And so that beast, just as the Bible, just as John saw it, oh God Almighty, for years, centuries, thousands of years ago, the beast is now in the open where the image is right before the UN in headquarters in New York for all to see. Bless the name of Jesus. And that is why the UN is so active at this time. I was talking to Brother Michael. Uh, I'm one of my subscribers. He has become a good friend of mine. Bless the name of Jesus. And we have been sharing. And I got a video where normal people who, a lot of people still calling them conspiracy theorists. When it was said that what is happening in, in Canada with the truckers, that UN soldiers are involved, a lot of people dismiss it. Rubbish. Nothing like that. And people went there and they took pictures of the, 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 the UN aircraft right at the border of Canada. It's right there. My brothers and sisters, for all to see, but a lot of people are going to rubbish this because it's not CNN and it's not Fox or NSBC, all these news media. It's not the major news media bringing these things. So a lot of people rubbish. But the plane, I see it for myself, the plane was right there. And so they say a lot of the, the arresting and, 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 and what was taking place in, 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 in that era. I don't want to keep calling the name because I don't want to get in trouble with this channel. But people in peaceful protest was being arrested by foreign troops. And that is why I said in a previous video, my brothers and sisters, that if you are a police officer, if you're a soldier, you need to understand if you have the ambition to become a, 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 a part of the military or a part of the law forces throughout the world. Understand that when you take that oath, you are pledging allegiance not to us, the citizen, the people, but you are taking an oath to protect the elites. You will be serving the system, not us. To serve and protect is deception. It's not us. It's not us, the people. And so that is why in, 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 in swearing, in, in, in taking a oath to join the military, based on my understanding, and you can correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, is that you have to swear even against your own mother. Here in Jamaica, officers told me this, that you have to swear an oath even against your own mother. And so they are positioned, why I'm saying that? They are positioned that if there's an uproar here in Jamaica, because of our PM who is serving the agenda, if things go out of hand, they have their world police that will be coming to assist. They have their pit bulls to unleash wherever it needs, help needs around the world. Bless the name of Jesus. And so the UN at this time is very active. Maintaining the world's population. Let's, let's go into that. On the 500 million. Brothers and sisters, 
This is why even what is happening with Rush, the beer, is happening at this time. The word of God says in the last days we shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. What is happening at this time is mostly rumors. But don't literally just take it as, as, as rumors because if you watch and see how the beer is positioning himself on a daily basis, you know that this is not a joke. This is not just a stage. If you watch and see how the kings of the earth is testing out their toys and positioning themselves, something is going to go down in short order. Because Jesus only did not only mention rumors of wars. The Messiah also said to the disciples, they will be war. They will be war. They will be war. And to war, I'm seeing to war before the Armageddon war. For me, you have three major war left. If you see any other war, share it in the, the comment section. I'm always open for you to talk back to me. Edify each, let us edify each other. But I'm seeing three wars now, my brothers and sisters. And the three wars that is left is the is, 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 is Ezekiel 38 war and also World War III. And the Armageddon War. What I'm certain of is that the Armageddon War will be the last. But I cannot tell you if we're going to experience the Ezekiel 38 War first. Or we're going to experience World War III first. I don't know where they're going to fall. But I know that they are eminent. If I pronounce that right. They are right around the corner bless the name of jesus and why is the purpose for this war these war let me go into this why i think is the purpose for this war is in this war we are going to experience depopulation like never before and so when i share a, 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 a video I share the link of this gentleman that shared about what he see for the year 2022. And, uh, you know, leading up into the other year coming. He said, based on Rush intelligence, the beer intelligence from Rush, he said that the war supposed to begin this year. He did that video from, from last year. He says, what I love about this video, he was not saying I'm prophesying. He says, based on rush intelligence, the war must begin this year. And he says that this war will begin in the UN. In, 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 the, um, in Europe, sorry. In Europe. What can we see? Can we hear what is happening? In, 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 in Europe. And you may be watching this video and said, okay, the beer want to take over Ukraine. What's the big deal? But when you watch the video of what this, this man was sharing, he says, when this war begins, and this is the part that gets me, and that is why I keep focusing on the Ten Commandments on the Georgia Guidestone. And the, 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 the one that have me is maintaining the world's population under 500 million. Because the gentleman says, when this war begins, um, Belgium will not exist anymore. He says, um, places like Romania will not exist anymore. He says, part of Germany will not exist anymore. He says, France will not exist anymore. Come on. Let me share this with you. When my mother, when I shared, my mother is so busy. Like many people don't have any time for videos. You know, she'll watch a little piece and, you know, she's all over the place. You know, maybe she's washing or, you know, maybe she's in her garden or maybe she's 
trying to plant a few more vegetables, you know, but my mother's, you know, and, 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 and when I try, when I get my mom, I said, you need to see this. And it was when a, a, a sister of hers, a very good friend of hers, sent the same video to her. And when my mother watched the video and she called me and she sat before me and she said, son, we are truly living in the last day, son. And she started to cry. She said, I can't hold back the tears. She said, so many people are going to die and they are not ready. So many souls suddenly are going to hush her into a devil's hell. Based on what she saw, the gentleman says that he named so many places. He says, even in America, the eagle, the home of the eagle, he says, when this war begins, he says, close to 200 million persons living in the land of the eagle will die. Close to 200. Now let that set in, sink in. 200 million. And that's just an estimate. It can be less, it can be more. But one thing that makes everything connect is that the agenda is to depopulate. Because you cannot maintain something unless you first get it to where you want it. Bless the name of Jesus. And so, don't take these things that you're seeing happening around. Slight. Jesus says, you're going to hear of wars and rumors. We're hearing a lot of rumors. But remember that Jesus says there are going to be wars. And because we're in the time of the Antichrist, I know that his, his, his main objective is to make sure that his Ten Commandments are being honored. And so, that is why you can hear the gates of hell. Last week, he has been silent for so long. For months, I have not heard anything from him. But last week, out of the blues, here comes the gates of hell again. And he says that, yes, the big C is now going away. Mr. 19 is now going away but he says he's warning the world that something bigger than the big C he says a virus is coming around the corner that is way worse more deadly than the big C now the question I want to ask all of you my viewers and subscribers is is this man a prophet how do we know a prophet? We know a prophet that when they prophesy, a true prophet is when you prophesy, it comes to pass. And if he's not a prophet, the next thing for me is that he has to be a part of the plan. He has to be a part of the executing these things throughout the earth. And for me, he's not a prophet. And so how do you know that there's something bigger than the big sea around the corner? And all these things, my brothers and sisters, is to depopulate. And that is why here in Jamaica, I keep warning the people, don't drop your guard. Don't become excited. It's just yesterday. Our PM announced, he said that he's lifting the measures even more further. And so he has now moved the measure. The curfew hour is no more from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. It, it's now from 12 p.m. So Jamaicans have until 12 midnight to be free about the country. 
And a lot of people are, yeah, 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 yeah. We are going back to normal. And so he said, no, you can have 100 people back in funerals. You can have 100 people at weddings. And when you come to Jamaica, you don't have to quarantine anymore. And, and people are like, yeah, 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 yeah. We are going back to normal. My brothers and sisters, the big C has been played out. Order out of chaos, my brothers and sisters. Order out of chaos. The big C has been played out and they know what's next. And what is next is going to make the big C looks like child's play. And so my brothers and sisters, we are truly living in the last hour. And things are going to be domino effect. Domino effect, my brothers and sisters. And so when everybody thinks it's peace and safety, and we are going back to normal, continuing to be deceived, 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 just live on the deception. When our PM make all these announcements, my question, if for somebody that you're thinking, then what, what, was the sense of, what, what was the sense of all these measures in the first place? If you can, in, in a day, just drop, drop it all like that. That alone should show us all that this is a game that they're playing. What has changed? What has changed? At least 80% of Jamaicans have not beaten the apple. Not even once. At least 80%. Let me repeat that. Make it clear. And so, 80% Jamaicans have not beaten this apple. So how all of a sudden, you can just drop all the measures in a day? And so, to maintain, in closing, to maintain something, my brothers and sisters, what is happening all around the world is that the elites are positioning themselves to get the population down to where they want it. And Jesus he gave us the listing in St. Matthew 24. Read it for yourself. And there's also another list that John gave. Lines upon lines, precept upon precept. Let us connect the scriptures together. John gave us another list in Revelation 6 of the four horsemen. All these things will be to bring the population down. What am I saying, my brothers and sisters? Very soon, many are going to die. What am I saying, my brothers and sisters? Many places, very soon, will be no more. Like Sodom and Gomorrah, in a moment, ashes. This is how severe their move is going to be on humanity. And so Jesus says, when we see these things, look up. Man's redemption, joy, night. A lot of believers are here talking recently. We are not watching what is all over the world. Let us not watch all these things and, uh, 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 you know, let us just focus on the Lord and pray. Jesus says that we must watch and pray. Jesus says we must be watchful, we must be vigilant. Jesus says... That when we see these things look up, if we are not seeing what is happening, 
but it's going to give us the indication to look up. Jesus knew where he was going. Jesus knew his time came. His final hour had come. That is based on what Jesus knew, led him to the garden to go on his knees and pray, preparing himself for the road, the journey with the cross. The word of God says in Luke that he prayed until his sweat became like drops of blood because of what Jesus knew was about to happen. What am I saying? It's paramount for you and I to know what is happening, my brothers and sisters. And based on what we know, that's when we pray. Bless the name of Jesus. I love you. Let us draw closer to Jesus. Because in the moment when we think it not, the Son of Man cometh. Bless the name of Jesus.